Hello, and I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video. Um, my name is Larry D. Reed, and I'm the host of Larry Reed Live that comes on every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless something happened and I can't get up there. I want to make sure that you know about this platform and that you are enjoying this platform. We have all sorts and kinds of conversations from educational to entertaining, make you laugh and empowering. And we also have Patreon. <clears throat> you go to LarryReadLive.com. Look for the word Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Click it. And there's a whole nother world over there. We do a lot of empowerment. And we discuss things there that we can't discuss here. All right. So, many times, there are things that are going on in our community, primarily in the black community, because I am a black man and probably... 89, 92%, I think, of my viewers are black um, that need to be discussed. Do you guys remember a while ago we had this audio that went around from Brian Karn? And in that audio, he made a joke. <clears throat> I presumed it was a joke before we found out that it was really a joke where he was saying that if you get COVID-19, do not go, when you go to the hospital, don't tell them you're from my church. Well, some people took it seriously, uh, but I thought it was a joke. However, I did not like the, um, I didn't like the whole exchange, but he's a man of faith. Cool. We got that. And he told me it was a joke. So we let it go. <clears throat> but what is happening now is not a joke. For the last week, I have received several phone calls. Now, this is to everybody that's going to church. I told y'all to keep your whole hind out. That's what I told you. But if you go, what did I say? See, somebody going to type that. I ain't got time to wait. I got to go do the mile walk and then eat. I said, praise him behind that mask. I said, praise him behind the mask. And our, uh, um, it came to my attention that there are some major Pastors. What kind of pastor? Major pastors who have people in their music department who they know have tested positive for COVID 19. And they advise them to don't tell nobody. And to keep coming. Okay, now. Now, if I start naming names and I make posts telling who these pastors are, because I got the proof that these people are positive, and I am looking online on the video, I see them on the video. Then you know how that work. You you know how that work. Then then it's a battle between me and some pastor and a church. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the way I do some things because we still need to have the conversation. It needs to be this darn discussed and some stuff need to be said. Now, they've already made the post online because, you know, it got to be public before I talk about it. That These people have contacted me. I've been sitting on it. They have put it all over the Internet, but you just ain't seen it. But if I say it, then, uh, you know, it goes everywhere. 
So this is what I'm going to do. One or two things is what I'm going to do. Now, I asked my mentor what to do. And this was his advice. He said, you go live, open up the line, and let the people, since it's already public, let those people call in and tell what, what their church is, who the pastor is, and who, and that they told him, they, that them provide all the proof, and they tell it. It's already public. So I'm, that's in my head, what he said. The flip side of my brain is telling me this, because this is what I was going to do. Because I do this all the time behind the scene. I was just going to call the pastors and tell them, look, here's the evidence that I have of this person being COVID-19 positive. And this is the screenshot of the text when they told your hind end that they were sick and the text that you sent back saying, and the other ones are recording, saying that you just keep on coming and, and just protect yourself and stay six feet away. I thought that everybody, but now I see just some people, the COVID-19 shook us up some. I thought, you know, because since February to now, was well, up until last night, and maybe one time in between there, my, my lives have been more educational and funny than anything that's happened in the community. So I'm thinking, oh, my shoulder and chain, so the community, I'm deep. Everybody sort of straightened up and getting small. I thought COVID-19 was making everybody better, but I see. If you ain't no good, you just ain't no good. If you're sorry and a whole entire no good thingamajinga, you just going to be a no good thingamajinga. And you're going to stay. A no good. Think I'm a jenga. Ain't no measure of COVID-19. Ain't no measure of exposure that can stop you and your crazy man. Ladies and gentlemen, nigga is at an all-time high. In the bodies of the crisis. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you raggedy hind pastor that is allegedly dragging folk to church because they you know they need the church the, the check uh -huh. and they full up of the COVID-19 full up of it you ought to be shame of your darn self and you need to be beat with many stripes. It should do. Black people. Black pastors. Oh, well, one of these is a white pastor too. Stop your mess. So I'm when I'm what I'm gonna do, I heard what my mentor said, and I think that's a good tactic. But two of two of these pastors, I I can get hold of easy, and I'm gonna tell them what was said to me, and here's the evidence. You need to get this together, and, and you laying hands with no mask. This this past Sunday, hold on, one Father's Day it was. You liable got the COVID nineteen liable. This ain't some nigga man. I ain't never seen none. In the name of God. You know what Bloomer said when he was on the show? He said some of these pastors are going in, up in the church for money. He basically said for money. 
And it got to be the money because is it like these 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 um, politicians that want to keep everything open for the economy? You just wonder why you want to keep the church doors open. Not all the pastors, but some of them. That is the case. You ought to be beat with something that 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 pinch. Every time it, you hit, it pinches some and snatch back. Hit you, it pinches some and snatch. You need you need you need, you need you something that's gonna teach you your lesson. You need your tail beat. In fact, the people with the COVID ought to whip your tail. The people that get it as a result of you being raggedy as a leader, once they find out they get it, they ought to come in and whoop your tail. That's what they ought to do. So this video... Is really a, a warning shot. Pastors take precautions and protect your people. Because your people going to tell somebody else who might end up putting you on blast. In fact, the ones I'm talking about, they already done put you on blast online. But, but y'all just don't know about it until, until unless I say something about it. This this is the warning. You a pastor, you're supposed to care for the sheep and protect the sheep. Do your job now. I always call me at the wrong time. Do your job and do what you're supposed to do. And quit being a raggedy leader. You're raggedy. You, sir is raggedy. Do what you're supposed to do and go take care of them, of them people. You hear me? Go take care of them people now. And the, 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 the ones I'm talking about, I think I done made up my mind as I'm sitting here doing this live. The ones I'm talking about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text you. Do like you need to do. Because the folk is upset. Now you already blasted online. I don't know if you know that part. They don't put it out there. But I ain't going to sit here and then put it out there. Because then that's going to really make it real big. So I'm, I'm, but I'm just right here's a warning. To those of you that's not protecting your folk. Protect them. And don't be advising them not to wear no masks. If they want to wear a mask because their faith ain't where yours at or whatever, let them wear a mask. They can praise them behind the mask. Quit being so darn controlling. This is a pure shame. You got to, got to tell a, a shepherd that's supposed to love the sheep to protect and care for the sheep and make, and make some precaution. This don't make no sense. So I'm going to reach out to those pastors and not say their name live here, but I want every pastor and every member that is watching me, that 1.3 thousand you watch me now on Facebook. I'm only on, only on Facebook right now. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Y'all take precautions. And I hope every pastor watching will make a decision to take some precautions, okay? Y'all getting on my last nerve. I'm getting irritated because I thought COVID-19 was the wake up and y'all still been foolish. It made me wonder, did God ever call you the pastor? You just went. Because you had a good hoop and a good gift and could, and can fool folk. It made me think you may not never been called if you don't care. I can't wrap my mind right now. Somebody said, dang, Larry, you're getting them gray in the hair. My whole head is gray. I just shave my hair every, every two days. I'm 42 whole years old. All right. I'm just letting you guys know. I didn't say no names. Um, 
I'm going to contact those pastors and I'm going to tell them what I know and to do better. And if people get sick and they prove it to me, more people are testing positive at your church. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. At that point, it's just, it's just going to be a Laurie live show. And you know how I talk about stuff. I, I have a little comedy wrapped up in it. So that means I'm going to clown you a little bit. And that may not feel good. Um, So I'm going to text you. But I'm telling y'all that's going to these churches, you take your own precautions. All right? I'm lightweight mad. Because this don't make no sense. Why, why you got to tell a pastor this? Someone said, come on over to Patreon and tell us. <laughs> yes, I am going to contact them. That's right, right, Bishop Martin. See, look, Dennis Martin, you see that's coming in there? That's the culture church I go visit here in Atlanta. They saved. A culture church now. So y'all use somebody that don't like culture. That's not true. I love culture. Yeah, I just got to do my job. You got to understand that I have a job to do. It's my, it's my job. You don't put it out and then out there strode in the street. ain't got nothing to say. I sit right here on it. Y'all see last night, I sat on something for over a year. So, with a video I had just got, but the other pieces and parts, I've been knowing I ain't saying nothing. You know, so I, I, I'm, I keep stuff. Bishop Dennis Martin said, please wear a mask. If you're going to go to church, please wear a mask. Well, Bishop Martin, that being said, can you and your wife, June, Lady June, your daughter and son, go out there to the church and and um, <laughs> and stream Sunday morning service so we can watch from the house? Please pass the bishop. I mean, just whenever the Lord released you. Just whenever he released you to do it. You should go and get on the Patreon and share your bit. I'm gonna give them an opportunity. I mean, I I may tell Patreon. Yeah, I can tell Patreon. That's that's in Patreon we can we 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 share. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all. Um, but I'm gonna also contact these pastors and let them know. Get your mess together. All right, and I I don't feel like that. Um, well, I take that back because y'all do. I ain't gonna say what I was gonna say. <sighs> y'all take care of yourself. If you're going to church, protect yourself, and um and be careful, and don't um feel bad if if you take a bottle of alcohol spray bottle and a mask and you sit far from the church way in the back don't even don't even feel bad you can praise them behind that mask you can as long as it's cool in it now see when it's hot now that's the problem you might not be able to praise them behind that mask that good but if it's if it's cool it's real easy behind the mask to praise them because i've been i've been practicing to make sure i'm giving the right advice i've been practicing now when it's hot outside you still can do it but it's rough but when it's cool Oh, let me give y'all an announcement since I'm sitting here. Should I give it now? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it now. Now, this may not mean nothing to y'all, but and you may not even understand it. Um, You know, I said for Patreon. <gasps> Okay, I see people posting some of the pastor's name that I'm going to be contacting. Reverend Alcohol, 70%, is about to be the new anointing oil. I know that's right, straight in the middle of the floor. The forward. All right, that's my food at the front door. So um, i talk to y'all later, and I'll do that um, other announcement. Um, I, 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 It's for... Y'all wouldn't understand, but I know those. I don't think everybody's out there. Go put it out there for everybody. All right. See y'all later. Bye.